sorry I bolted, I guess uh, I just needed to catch my breath. I, I understand. I mean, you're absorbing terrible shock and disappointment. But it's important to remember, not being able to carry a child doesn't mean you can't be a mother. The last thing I want to be is one more person putting pressure on you. But, you know, I'd like to help. Uh, I'm kind of at a loss if you don't tell me what you need. Well, what I need is to give my children the best life I can. Oh, I'm so sorry. I have to get myself under control. I got myself this job on my own, and I'd like to keep it that way. I really don't want to mess it up. Make an appointment soon to discuss your options. You know, it's possible you and Jason could have a child with the assistance of, like, a surrogate right, or I'm a sorry. gestation. I'm, I'm sorry, no offense, but as I told you earlier, I seriously doubt that Jason and I are ready for another woman to carry our baby. When you got pregnant and we thought the baby could be mine, all I did was think about it. And the type of living situation that we would provide for a child. Well, did you come to any conclusions? Yeah, I, I wanted the baby to have a, a real family, you know, a mother and a father who were married, who who love and respect each other. I, that, that probably might have sounded like I'm trying to tell you to get back to Lucky. No, I'm for the baby's sake. I, Okay, I understand where you're coming from. I mean, it doesn't surprise me that you think my baby should grow up with his father. But Lucky screwed up. Okay, that doesn't mean he doesn't love his baby or he can't do better. I screwed up with Sam when I broke up with her because I thought I was protecting her. Yeah, but you weren't addicted to drugs and you didn't have an affair. And... I mean, you only slept with me after you found out Sam had slept with Rick and you know you may regret it now. At the time, it wasn't... Sam and I have forgiven each other and we found our way back together. But that doesn't mean I, I regret being with you. Because I don't. Well, I'm glad. Because no matter what, that night with you is something I will never be sorry for. I wish. Never mind. Now tell me. I just wish I could see you happy again. I've come to realize that happiness is a fleeting thing at best. And that shouldn't be, especially for someone like you. Someone like me. Yeah, I mean you have, you know, so much to offer. But you, you, you've told me more than once that you're afraid if you if you shut Lucky out that he's going to go back to drugs. Okay, the worst part of that for me would be watching you blame yourself. So you think that I should take him back? No, I, I'm just trying to offer another, you know, way to look at this, this whole thing, okay? You've told me how lucky you saved your sanity and your soul after you've been raped, right? And all the time since, you have not stopped loving him, even when you thought, when you thought Lucky was dead, and now you were pregnant with Lucky's baby. I mean, can you can you really turn your back on that kind of history? I'm, I'm not saying if, if you don't go back that you're going to be taking a big chance, okay? You will be. But, if for some reason this whole thing goes wrong, you are strong. Elizabeth, and you will survive. Sorry, I'm not trying to. I'm not trying to tell you what to do. Ultimately, you need to do what's best for you and and your baby. There's no sign of marijuana anywhere. Oh, are you sure? You might have missed a spot. Did you check the wheatgrass? Because it could be a good camouflage. 
What's, what's going oh, on? Oh, my brother Rick has a search warrant, and he's going to find absolutely nothing. I had reason to believe that there was marijuana on the premises. Rick, you know there's no marijuana on the premises. Sonny, Alexis was arrested once for possession. It stands to reason you, with your known connections to organized crime, might be her supplier. Do you really think I'm stupid enough to get busted? This, this is your job, to harass a woman who's sick because this guy tells you to? Listen, if it was a legitimate warrant, I had to execute it. My opinion doesn't matter. Let me clue you in on something. Detective Spencer, things aren't always what it seems with my brother. He, he had no intention to find a marijuana in here. He just wanted to get me so upset that I'd do something foolish. As you can see, that's not happening. So I want both of you out of here right now. Actually, I'd like to talk to Rick. Alexis, what are you talking about? It's not a good idea. What do you mean? I, I really think I should. We'll be in my office. Excuse me. Let's go. What's it all about, Alexis? I surrender. Okay? You win. I hate what that bastard's doing to Alexis. Okay, look, there's nothing we can do about Alexis. But there is something you can do for Carly. Just give her the divorce. Lucky left you a message. He said that he's going to be late and he'll meet you here in the lobby. Okay. Thanks. Are you okay? You know, it just... It just hit me that you have what I want most in this world and you don't seem to appreciate it. I'm sorry that I lied to you. I mean, why did you? you know, if we can't trust each other, there's no way any of this is going to work. The same goes for you and Carly. Do you believe Carly's better off with Jax? It's not the, it's not the point. It is, it is to me. Carly's happiness, my children's happiness, is, is the point of everything. I hate that I lied to her. I hate that I was living on borrowed time, knowing that it was going to blow up in my face. I hated doing to Carly what she's always done to me, but I couldn't figure out any other way to get through to her. So I thought that if we could just, you know, reconnect and be, a, you know, a family, Cardi would want to stay. You are carrying precious life inside you, and from what I can see, you've made absolutely no effort to share that child with its father, and I just feel like that process okay, you should know be... know nothing about me and my child, and next to nothing about this baby's father. So do me a favor and keep your unasked for opinions to yourself. That holier-than-thou thing you put out never ceases to amaze me. What did you do this summer that's any different than what I did? At least I had the grace to regret being with Rick. Are you even sorry you slept with Jason? Exactly, no, you didn't have to marry Carly to keep her from the testifying. The cops notified Diane two seconds before Carly walked in and agreed to marry me. The wedding was already arranged. You had already talked okay, Carly into She panicked at the list. ceremony. She ran off. You asked me to bring her back, and I did because... You know what? As a friend, it was the only way I thought I could keep you out of prison. I was wrong. I said I was sorry. I don't know what else you want from me. I didn't set out to hurt anybody or betray anybody. It was my only chance to stop her from marrying Jax because I know deep down in my heart she's making a mistake. She's going to hurt herself and the children. Hey, but it, you know it's Carly's Yeah, I know, I know you that it's do. her choice and all that kind of stuff. You lied once. So she would stay with me. Yeah, and I, and I was wrong for doing that. So that you, that you're not going to lie again? You're not going to ever keep a secret from somebody you love? Okay, I'm not, I'm not claiming to be better than you, okay? I'm not, I haven't been in the situation that you're facing, but your word needs to mean something. And so does mine. And I promised Carly I would take her to get a divorce. And I have to follow through now. So I'm going to need, I'm going to need her passport. No, 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 no. Uh, you know what? I, uh, you've done enough and I appreciate it. i got to make this right with Carly. If I can't, then I gotta let her go.